right. I, I, I want to just cleanse the palate here. This is some fun audio. I love this audio today. There is this guy. He's on a conference call at home. And he totally loses it when he notices a squirrel in the room. He's got a baseball bat. <laughs> this is great. And he chases the squirrel around with a baseball bat. He jumps up on his desk, too. Yeah. The, the audio yeah. of this is hilarious. And I think for the purposes of town hall... <laughs> oh, my God, it's in Oh, my God, it's in Go! Go away! Go away! It's in here! Go away! Go It's wildly swinging in the bat. <laughs> it never connects with the squirrel, by the way. Well, no, the bat. I don't know what the out. final conclusion of that was. Yeah. I, I don't know if he opened the window and the squirrel went I out guess the window. The I don't know. Got out, but yeah, but he's that's yeah. going to live in infamy. It's only a matter Dude of time before somebody out. somebody puts that to like metal music or something. Yeah, I, I want animal, to hear an, animal rights activists will be up in arms. <laughs> oh, please, squirrels are evil. <laughs> Everybody knows that. I, uh, the only thing I can relate this to, and maybe you guys have heard me tell this story before, but it's a quick one, but with wild animals, but it was, I would live in, I was living in an apartment complex at the time and there was a community dumpster, one of those huge things. You took yeah. your trash out to it and put it in there. And then once a week they come and get it. So I'm taking my try, I got two bags full and I got my keys in one hand and I flipped the, the, the open, open the, uh, the top of it. And this raccoon runs from one end to, towards me. And I freak out, and I throw the, the trash cans in there. My keys go with it. Oh, man. <laughs> so the keys in my car are in there, in the dumpster, with the raccoon. <laughs> so I go back in the house really quick, and I get a golf club. And I start to, I, I start to pull them up the side, the keys. Yeah. And the, the thing comes running at me again. I drop it. Now the golf club's in there and the keys. <laughs> so, finally, so finally I call animal control, right? And I lived in, like, a wooded area. And animal control comes out, and they get the little, little things that wrap around their snouts, yeah. you know? They pull it out, and they let it go, and it flies into the woods. I was never so scared in my life <laughs> when I first saw that thing, because I thought, man, these are like rabies things, too, right? Because <laughs> if you see a raccoon during the day, it's probably not a good thing. No, no. Although he was hiding in the in the dumpster, so yeah. I don't know. Well, he, he just didn't wanted get a to to sample what I had in those bags until it was removed. <laughs> well, Gosh, dang I, you know, you, you've got a legendary taste for tube-tied meat. He knew something <laughs> yes, good yes, was coming yes, I do. his way, all right? Hey, well, they all need snouts and knuckles in their diet. <laughs> yes. <laughs>